Hi, I'm Dawn with Drucker Diagnostics, and today we're going to talk about how to load tubes into the rotor of your Sera 12 blood banking centrifuge. And in particular, we're going to talk about how to make sure you always spin a balanced tube load. How to spin balanced tube loads in the Sera 12. Whenever you spin tubes in your Sera 12, you should always make sure the tube load is balanced. It'll help keep your centrifuge running for years to come, and it'll make sure that you get the best results out of every spin. Your first step should be to make sure the tubes themselves are balanced. That means an equal volume of liquid in each tube that you're going to spin. If you're only spinning one tube or an uneven number of tubes, you can create a counterbalance by adding an equal volume of water to the volume of blood in the other tubes. Once you've got all of your tubes with equal volume, it's time to load the rotor. If you're loading two tubes, either two blood tubes or a single blood tube and a counterbalance, place them across from each other on the rotor like you see here. Doesn't matter which slots, just so long as they're directly across from each other. Now, if you're going to load six tubes, we want to place them like so with an empty space in between each. That way, each tube will have another similarly weighted tube across from it and your rotor will stay balanced. And finally, if you're spinning 12 tubes, you'll simply load one into each slot on your rotor. Now, keep in mind that while we've chosen to load the Cero 12 rotor inside the centrifuge, this rotor is completely removable. If you like, you can load it outside the centrifuge and then place it on the spindle once it's time to spin. Once your samples are properly balanced, you're ready to close the lid, press the start button, and spin. The centrifuge will speed up until it reaches your programmed RPM, at which point it will start counting down for your program time. Once it finishes, it will slow down and beep to let you know that it's done. Then you can open the lid and retrieve your samples. And that's how to make sure you always spin balanced loads in your Sarah 12. If you have questions, you can always contact Drucker Customer Service. And if you'd like to learn more about how to use your Sarah 12, some helpful links are popping up on your screen right now. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.